हेलो हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू कैन सी द स्क्रीन सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू एड्रेस फ्यू थिंग्स ओवर हियर द कंप्यूटर दैट आई एम यूजिंग दिस इज एम वन मैक द मैकबुक एयर एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो हाउ सॉफ्टवेयर लाइक एलेक्रिटी न्यू विम एंड दैन सम अदर कमांड लाइन टूल्स वर्क इफ यू आर कमिंग फ्राम अ वेरी लिनक्स बैकग्राउंड राइट सो over here you can see that i have alacrity installed and before all of this when you have your computer just op open up safari and go to homebrew.sh okay go to homebrew.sh copy this command and you will just uh, write terminal and uh, some of um, just a second terminal and you are going to open up your mac terminal it's not going to look like this this is my custom stuff but it's going to be similar and you're just going to paste and yeah that's pretty much going to be it so you will be doing that and then homebrew is going to get installed you have to uh, enter your root password and all so there is some normal stuff and for installing alacrity you're going to go here alacrity and you're going to copy this command and then you're going to paste it in the terminal right and it might sometimes say that uh, this is a software from a non identified developer or something like that so in that case what you can do is you can just open up the terminal once again and run this command so if i just um, bigger this up a little bit so the command is going to be sudo spctl dash dash disable master uh, sorry uh, dash dash master disable okay so the what this command is going to do is this command is going to give this one over here so if i open up my this security and you can see uh, app store and identified developers so i have done that but of course i am going to install everything from homebrew only but in case you need to install some other software from other places then you can do that and to disable this you can just put a enable okay so that's pretty much it and after that once you have homebrew installed just run brew and you can just see how everything works so you can see that brew works like this and the macos terminal is really i don't really like it it's a little bit slow to my test so yeah i i i never really use it in fact item 2 is still okay but honestly i don't like any of them i would rather use alacrity because it's very fast because it does all of its stars via gpu rendering right so let me just fire up alacrity so over here you can see this is alacrity and it's it works really well you can move the window everything around let's say double click here so this is going to go into full screen mode and this is my config so it might be like this or might not be like this so to create your config i think of course you know that because you are using this software so you can make a dot config folder firstly and then over here you have to make a alacrity folder and over here you have to make this alacrity.yml so i have a alias for this so uh, the alias is alacon for me which just basically opens this file so if i just run this and you can see these are just my settings uh, my color scheme and a few of my key bindings and opacity fonts and a bunch of other stuff okay so uh, you might be seeing another thing that i just open up vim so let me just open this up so nzsh this is going to open up my .zsh rc okay so this is my .zsh rc these are some of the stuff that i use so one does for auto completion and this one helps for this binding thing so if i just show you so let's say cd and then tab so i i can hit l j you know this is just like the vim key bindings and i i can just move around like this so it's really good and yeah and these are just aliases and over here these are some normal stuff i am exporting some path and terminal and all this is fcd this is a function and these are some stuff that i used to use in my <laughs> linux and over here this is the starship shell prompt that i'm using so if you don't know what it is then you can go to starship.rs it's a rust powered thing so yeah you can just uh, install it by home it's going to be fine so yeah and over here you can see this is 
my vim so vim works really well neo vim and yeah this is the power line thing and all of this stuff and buffers and everything like the font and all this is using the uh, dev icon so you can see over here a uh, lot of stuff so yeah um, let's say yeah so you can see python and then other stuff let's say mental health i so over here there is some dart folder and all so that's there and all of this stuff it works really well if i just show you my vim, com vim config once so this is the vim config and yeah i also have a vim wiki so space ww this gets me to my wiki where i can just you know jot down my notes and all so yeah that's pretty much it if i just show you one last thing neo fetch so all of this stuff i have installed via brew so yeah i'll just run this once so brew dash dash version so you can see this is the homebrew version and node.js npm and everything other thing work really well and by the way i'm using mac os montanary so there's no such issue with uh, making the new update so you can easily do that although it was not listed previously it was not listed uh, it was just about big sur when i was checking it out for neo vim but it works really well now so yeah that's pretty much it and that's going to be the video thank you for watching